Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Introduction to PHP course. In today's lesson, we're going to be introducing the topic of optional function parameters. Uh, specifically, we're going to be talking about optional function parameters, uh, describing what they are and how to define them within a function, as well as how to call functions that require, or excuse me, that have optional parameters as an option. Um, so, as mentioned, uh, when we define user-defined functions in PHP, they can have optional parameters. And what that means is uh, the user can choose whether they want to, when they call that function, whether to provide an argument for a particular optional parameter. All the functions we defined so far have required parameters, which means when you call the function, if it has two parameters that it takes, you have to provide two arguments to that function. Uh, so the way you define an optional parameter is like this. Here we have a function just called test. Um, and an optional parameter is basically set up by um, you define the name that you want to use for the optional parameter and then you give it a default value. And so when you define a function this way, any, any parameters that are defined without, um, op without default values, such as rec for required parameter in this case, um, are going to be required parameters. Any ones that you define with optional parameters, excuse me, with default values are going to be optional um, parameters. Now what that means is that when you um, are accessing, for example, within the body of your function, you're accessing these different variables, um, these parameter variables. Um, when you access required uh, variable, you'll just access it as usual. Um, when you access, for example, let's say we want to output the optional parameter that a user passed in. If the user passed in the optional parameter, um, <clears throat> it's going, then optional is going to be set to that value. So if the user um, called this function, for example, then required is going to be, get set, is going to be set to 5, and optional, um, the optional parameter is going to be set to the value 5 as well. If we had just called test with one parameter, in this case 5, then required is going to be set to 5. And then anytime we, uh, for example, let's say we want to echo the optional parameter in our function, anytime optional is accessed, um, in this case, because we didn't provide it with a value, the default value of 1 is going to be used. So in this case, it would output um, the value 1, because uh, on this call to test, we did not provide the optional parameter. One thing to note is that um, default values that you set, clean this up a little bit, uh, within the function definition, uh, these values must be um, constant values. Uh, and they also must be um, of the following data types. They can be uh, scalar constant values, um, which can be constants or actual literal values, such as, for example, the literal number 1. Uh, and they can be any of the scalar types. They can be an array as long as the array is filled with literal values or um, the array may have constant values in it as well. Or they can be set to the default value uh, null. So let's take a look at a script here um, called optionalparameters.php. And here we've um, basically we're going to define a function called optional uh, that's going to have two parameters. It's going to have one that's a required parameter and one that's an optional parameter. The required parameter is going to be recalled required, the optional parameter is going to be named optional. And um, so what this function does essentially is just outputs the two values um, of the required parameter and the optional parameter that may have been passed to the function. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill in here the function definition that shows how optional parameters are created. So with required, we don't set a default value because it's a required parameter. However, with our second parameter named optional, um, <coughs> It is an optional parameter, so uh, we have to give it a default value in order to signify that it's a optional parameter. So in this case, we're going to set the default value for optional equal to 1. And then down here in just this section, uh, I have a little message stating we're only providing the required argument. So then now that we've defined this function, if we go ahead and, and call optional and provide it, for example, with the required um, Vary with the required parameter, and we'll just uh, pass in the value of 5. What's going to happen is required is going to be set to 5, and optional, because no value was passed in, is going to be set to 1. So when we actually, if we save this, 
and we go ahead and view it in our browser, we can see that required is set to 5, optional is set to 1. And that's because optional was not provided when we called the function. Uh, now if we go back here and actually have a, a second statement that says we're going to provide both the required and optional parameters, we call optional again. In this case, we provide the same required parameter, but this, this time let's say we provide the value 12 uh, for the optional parameter. When we run the function, um, required is going to get set to 5, and then optional, instead of being equal to 1, is going to get set to 12. So we should have the output that shows 5 and 12. And if we save this and go ahead and load, reload the page, um, we can see here in this second statement that um, required was set to 5, and the optional value um, was actually set to 12. And as mentioned, um, these uh, function variable, excuse me, the uh, parameter default values for optional parameters uh, must be constant functions. So you could include maybe like a constant in here. Here's a constant we haven't defined. Um, but if you try to do something like, for example, make a function call, um, for example, time, what's actually going to happen is you're going to get actually a parse error when you try to run the code. And if we reload the page, it's going to say unexpected um, parentheses. And basically what that's telling you is that um, you only can have constant values or uh, constant values and uh, nothing that does sort of any uh, function calls or computations or anything like that. Uh, alternatively, we could have a value null, as we had mentioned. In this case, if we go ahead and refresh our script, uh, we can see that optional here, it outputs nothing because the string value of null is the empty string. 